Hello all, and welcome to another edition of King Joe's Unboxings. Well, this is going to be a real long one again. Uh, I actually got a package from Dynamite Crypt here too, but I'm going to actually start off with... This, I was in here first. bag and board them. I'm surprised the tape didn't get on them. Doctor Who postcard type deal. Something I don't have, so I gotta make sure that it's stored. Okay. I got from Eclipse Comics. ESPers one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, I also picked up, I figures that's ripped, Visions of Vampirella card binder with the set of cards and it with some of the inserts. Now, I have to change because I know the, the insert of the longer cards here. He just has a thing and it's actually ripped to the bottom, so I have to replace that. But I actually have holders that'll fit them no problem. I'll just have to find out what cards am I missing for this set and pick them up. But I got this from this. I got this from Bad Rock Comics, and this was actually a really good buy. And I also picked up Catwoman from the movies trading cards. In the binder, um, which I have a couple of the autograph cards. So if I find out if there's any answers, I'll pick them up myself. Now, this is the other package from Bad Rock. Bad Rock. It's like precision of being a doctor. Just cut, just don't cut too far down. Which is good, because I needed a box of some stuff back to pee. Some stuff to pee. Okay, let's see. I'm just going to pull these out. All bagged and boarded, so that's good. I don't have to waste bags and boards. Count, kind of count down 11, 10, 9, 8, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Thirty one, thirty, twenty nine, twenty eight, twenty seven, twenty six, twenty five, Firestorm and Bloodhaven, twenty four, twenty three, Mr. Mitzelplex spills his guts. 22, 21, 20, 19, 18. I actually had some of these, but uh, if I went and bought them, I just, the whole run's all doubles. 16, 15, 14. 13, 12, I actually need just the, 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 the one variant of issue 1, 51, 50, that joker, 49, 50, 44, 43, oh, yeah, it's 43, 42, enter clay face, 41, 40, 39, 38, poison ivy, 37, 36, 35, 34, 33, and 32. I want to save Pete's for last. Okay. Another title I bought a couple lots of. Vigilante issue 7, 8, 9, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 39, 40, last issue 50, annual 1, which I needed that one, I know I in the annual 2. I'm going to have some doubles of them. Now, this box.
Eagle Mods. I got the Delta Flyer from Star Trek Voyager, the Andorian Battle Cruiser, saving Pete stuff for last. Uh, last night I went to Five and Below, Sam's, and Toys R Us. So, to begin, here's what I picked up at Toys R Us. Build a figure, Legends, Spider-Man, Marvel Legends, uh, Spider-Woman. I almost passed this up because I didn't notice it was Spider-Girl, but I ended up picking up Spider-Girl. I also picked up the Penguin new Matchbox car. The Joker. Robin. And the Batman Hot Rod. At five and below, they had the comics, you know, four comics, four dollars. So here's what I got out of those packs. All new X-Men's number, number, whatever, Trial Jean Grey number one, 22 point now, second printing. Superior Spider-Man, 30, second printing. Point one, number one. Amazing Spider-Man, Learning to Crawl, crawl 1.1. Learning to Crawl, 0.1.2. Daredevil, 1.5. Uh, A plus X, number 3, Marvel Now. The Mighty Thor, issue 18. Uncanny Avengers, 20. The Fantastic Four, 14. Infinity, part 4. Justice, issue 6. Journey into Mystery, 519. Silver Surfer, minus one. West Coast Avengers, 97. And The Amazing Spider-Man, number one. For a buck. Cover price, $6. So, that's what I got out of those. And then I went to Sam's Club and we bought The Action Bible comic book in Bible form. I've been saying around for years, man, I can make, somebody can make a fortune if they put the Bible in comics and they can sell it to all the churches for their kids, for their Sunday school. Well, another good idea that I had that I never took advantage of that somebody else did, but artwork looked pretty good. Uh, I'll have my daughter open it one day, make her read it. Now my my buddy Pete's package, to say the best for last. Dynamite Crypt, check out his channel. I actually has some stuff he had put up for trade. like Batman. He's got some Batman comics, so put away my bat knife. Okay. Ended up getting some lots in himself. He finished off his. Oh, I don't. Well, these were showcases. I didn't know that they fall in the showcases. I thought they were. <sighs> he sent me some Captain America comics. I have to go through and see if I need them, but I think I needed most of them, so. He sent me issue 256. 255, 254, 253, 252, 251, 250, which this is actually sort of cute because I got a mini comic of the same thing. Okay. 249, 248, Dragon Man. 247, 239, 234 with Daredevil, 
224-200. They also sent me Marvel Double Feature with Captain America and Iron Man, issue 10. Which, this is actually a, a, Brit, a UK version, because it's got 9 pence. Same thing with this one. Well, they're all... Wow, okay. I didn't look. But a couple, a lot of them. This is actually a ten, uh, Europe. Ten pence. Same thing with these three issues. See how they say? Twelve pence on them? And he sent me Showcase Issue 7 and 8. Showcase 93, 7 and 8. So let's see. Dear Joe, here are all the comics. I promised you I might have messed up with the Nightfall. I sent 13 and 14. I have to actually look. I also included are the, cap, the caps. 300 up. I think you will see. I know you will enjoy. I know I will enjoy them. My, my buddy, Dynamite Crib Pete. Thank you. I... Uh, and that's, that's all I have for this edition of King Joe's Unboxing. I actually made it fast. Now i got to go leave feedback, check out all these, get them, figure out what's what, put the Star Trek stuff. I actually have to get another uh, two shelves made for my curio cabinet. Because there's so much of a gap between them. I can actually fit more in if I raise the, the top shelf up three rungs. I could probably put two more glass shelves in there and manage to fit all my Star Trek ships in there when they're done. But uh, that does it for this edition of King Joe's unboxings and haul, whatever you want to call it anymore. It's just like basically just shovel the collection in and shovel it in. You know, that's like that's all I've been doing. Keep pounding them out, pounding them out, pounding them out. But it's actually going to stop probably in the next two weeks because once I get everything after the end of the week of bidding on eBay, I'm done. I promise the wife no more eBay for the week. Even though uh, I bought a statue, I bought some old toys. I actually finished off some of the toys that I had that were missing pieces. Um, I actually bought, I had the Fonzie doll that my buddy Lou gave me. Well, I just bought his boots. I actually bought all the clothes because he was, I think all he had was his jacket, but I ended up buying another jacket off the same guy. Then uh, a couple year or two ago, Pete bought me my first mask toy, and it was missing the gun for the roof and the driver's mask. I picked them up, so I actually have the complete jackhammer set. Which that's an that's one of the, like the most awesome one of the awesome mask things. Um, I keep looking for the you know to see if I can pick up the women mask cheap because I have a I have a, like a thing for girls. I have no, and it's just like a guy, so it's like that's why most of uh, pretty much almost all the action figures I buy are girls. One, two. I look at it this way: I die. My daughter gets my collection. My daughter's a girl. She plays with girl dolls, so I figured you know. The superheroes are girls, so therefore, if they want to open them, fine. Hopefully, they won't, because I have enough stuff that you know. Maybe my daughter one day will decide, you know. Maybe my dad, you know, collected this stuff for one or two reasons, like either for her to keep them, or I have enough stuff she can open up her own collectible store. Maybe not. Who knows? Uh, you know, I know one thing: if she was able to open up a collectible store, she should be able to get good money for a long period of time. But all the stuff I have, not only toys, cards, comics, statues, glasses, uh, pretty much, you name it, Pez, lunchboxes, movies. Well, everybody, the battery died, and so it means my battery's almost dead on that camera anyway. So I just want to say thank you guys for viewing and subscribing. Time I put, sorry, start putting stuff away, so see you next episode. Have a good day. Bye-bye.